So today we've got a brand new scent release. In fact, it's releasing right now as we speak from Hanyaker Beard Company. It's called Seas of Hydra, and you're going to want to hear this one. So welcome, guys. My name's Brian. This is my Beards and Banjos YouTube channel. We're we'll trying to help you grow your best beard possible. Thank you so much for joining me. And we're getting closer and closer to that big milestone of 2,000 subscribers. Uh, and when we get there, we're going to be doing a big giveaway of a Brio Beardscape brand new version 2 trimmer. So make sure you check out that video so you can be sure to be entered into that. So a big fan of Hanyaker uh, is one of my affiliates. You can save 15% um, with the code Banjo15 uh, on that. I think I was the first to do a YouTube review of Hanyaker years and years ago. And Adam's been coming out of the gate after, uh, usually he releases stuff just very sporadically, only like two or three brand new scent releases. This year, I think he's had five. Uh, and he said, uh, this will probably be the last one for a while. So uh, we've reviewed them all on the channel. So I'll be putting some links here for you guys to go back and check out some of the earlier scents from this year if you want. But this one is called Seas of Hydra. And it is um, salty sea air, notes of cold metal, driftwood, amber, and crisp Nordic night air. Uh, for some reason, that's a tongue twister for that last one. But this is an excellent scent. Uh, in one way, it's a Hanyaker scent because it's uh, it's rich. It's a little bit manly. Um, it paints a picture, and I'll tell you all about the picture in just a second. But in another way, it's it's pretty safe compared to some of other uh, Adam's other scents because he doesn't mind just putting out stuff he likes, whether you guys like it or not. That's uh, just the way he is. But just like Avenue Blue was one of the best um, barbershop scents on the market, I think this one is one of the best aquatic cologne type of scents on the market. So and I definitely think it's got its play. So I'm not sure if Adam's going to keep this around. He kind of hinted that he's going to do things kind of in batches and may not keep things in the permanent lineup. But I think this one's got a place in it, Adam. I really do. Uh, I think you're going to get the same kind of response once guys try it uh, that I'm going to be giving you here today. So really enjoy this when I, I heard Adam talk about this on an IG uh, video that he did. Make sure you're following uh, Hanyaker Beer Company on Instagram, by the way. Uh, he's talked about uh, Seas of Hydra. Hydra is actually a moon uh, of Pluto, I think it is, one of Pluto's moons. Um, so he's always enjoyed um, like space travel and those kind of things. It re actually reminded me of the song, The Highwayman. Now, all the different singers uh, get their own verse. And when you get to that last verse, you get to Johnny Cash and he's singing about being a... Um, uh, a, like a space traveler and crossing the universe and finding a place to rest and all that kind of stuff. And it kind of paints that uh, picture, kind of the same vibe on it uh, that Adam was was talking about. So uh, what do you get out of this? It's a, it's really smooth because of the amber in it. Just a, just a little bit sweet, but not very much sweet. But you actually get that cold metal. You actually, it smells cold. Uh, and then you get the aquatic notes, the driftwood, and then the, the crisp air, a couple different types of sea air and Nordic night air in it. And you get all of that, and it's super, super good. When you first put it on, there's a little bit of some sort of kind of uh, spice, but not much at all. Uh, it's not a spicy kind of scent, just enough there to give it some texture so it doesn't smell like a run-of-the-mill um, aquatic scent that you may have smelled in the past. So I really enjoy this. I think it's going to be a big, huge hit uh, if you are able to pick that up. So uh, that goes for $16.50 for either uh, one ounce oil or a two ounce butter. And butter, if you haven't had one from Adam in about six months or so, he did reformulate that and it's a little bit softer. Works really, really well. Just make sure this time of year you pop it in the refrigerator or the freezer for 30 minutes to an hour before you open it. Uh, but I did want to tell you about some of the other scents, there's a couple of other ones that he came out with this year that he's actually going to have on sale until they're gone. So make the, the, by the time you check, they may be gone. Uh, by the way, this uh, Seas of Hydra is going to be uh, in my top scents of the video. And I actually had to pull another one from my pile over there that's now on sale. It's Menage a Trois. It's another one that's going to make my top scents video. I think I'm giving away my video, but I'm actually going to do one next month. Uh, I've been doing one during the summertime. I've got time off. I'm a teacher to do a, a half of the year. So the first half of 2022 best scents, if you will, um, because I get in so many scents that I, I just get overwhelmed trying to do it for the entire year at the end. So I do want to show you the website really quickly just to show you um, a couple of the things that are currently available. All right. So the two that are on sale and you can get it for $12.50. Now you can't use my 
Banjo 15 code won't work on that if it's in your cart. But if you got something else in the cart, the 15% will be taken off of those items. Um, so 1250 for Sahara, which is uh, it's got patchouli in it and some other stuff. I've got it right here. Black Oud, Musk, Amber, and Black Cardamom. And then Menage a Trois, which is a really good, it's sweet, sultry, um, sophisticated scent. It's got incense, saffron, musk, oud, shea, and cashmere. I really highly recommend that one. That one's a little bit more unique. The Seas of Hydra is uh, really, really good. I don't know which one of those two I like the best. I do know Seas of Hydra is a little bit more mainstream. Menage a Trois is a little bit more of a Hanyaker scent to me in that it's a little bit different. Um, and then uh, the ones that are currently available. So I'm guessing these were the mainline scents. Whipping Post was a new one for this year. So you can go back and check out my video on that if you want. Uh, and then Avenue Blue, as I was talking about there, with one of the best barbershop scents on the market. Uh, you now have one of the best um, aquatic cologne scents on the market with Seas of Hydra, in my opinion. Uh, Body Language may be my favorite Hanyaker scent. I'd really have to go back and compare. I think I need to do a uh, my favorite Hanyaker scents video, if you will. But that's another one that's sweet and sophisticated. Uh, Grayson is available. Uh, Memoirs, I've heard nothing but great things about. I haven't tried. I haven't tried Taproot. Uh, Humidors are really good. Um, cigar Blend. And then The Elder, I haven't tried. Zenlin, I haven't tried. And then Out of Stock on the Unscented. And then you can get the butters in these same uh, Scents for $16.50, and I don't think there's any balms currently available, but the wash and co-wash is available if you're interested in picking all that stuff up when you order. So uh, let me know if those if this new scent, Seas of Hydra, sounds good to you, and if you're going to be picking that up. And If not, let me know some of your other favorite Hanyaker scents. By the way, don't sleep on that menage a trois that's on sale because you may not be able to get it anymore uh, after that. All right, uh, that's all i got for today, guys. Thank you so much for joining me, and we'll be seeing you soon.